The first time I opened the box of one of these motors, it smelled like bacon. <laughs> I have no idea why it smells like bacon. All right, this is the AOK Fly 2306-2650 kV motor. I got the 2650 kV motor because I asked them what the actual kV was, and the actual kV of 2650 is 2520 kV, which is perfect. I think 2500 to 2550 kV is the right kV for 5 inch. I don't like the lower kV stuff. Uh, if you want to get the lower kV version of this motor, I think it's really good for 5.5 inch or 6 inch or really, really aggressive 5 inch props, but I personally prefer the higher kV stuff. Okay, so this is very clearly my choice for the best value motor on the market right now and it is a $14 motor. This is a $14 motor and it is in performance wise it's every bit as good as the top tier motors out there. Motors that are you know very similar to the Hyperlite 2307, very similar to the Brother Hobby 2306 and any other 2306, 2300, whatever high-end motor out there. It's They're very very similar especially on a 5 inch prop going beyond a 2207 is is really I mean you're just gaining efficiency you're not really gaining much performance anymore after that if you're just running 4s the motor was, will run 5s fine but 5s is not yet the standard at all so I'm just sticking to 4s this quad that I have it on this is this one it's all loaded up with the camera and everything it's 640 grams just because it's like a test quad you can see I just kind of like strapped the things on randomly like it's just a test quad I don't really care about it and I couldn't believe the performance of this thing. And I'm going to show you what, what makes it, in addition to the performance, it's actually a good motor. It's a very good construction motor. So let's go over what makes a motor good or not real quick again. Okay, so things that this motor has that are good. So first and foremost, it's made of 775 aluminum. At least that's what they tell me. I can't really confirm that. My test is just to tighten the screws down as tight as I can and see if it'll strip. This motor did not strip, so that's good news. I can't tell if it's 7075, but it's not the weakest or lowest quality aluminum. The bell, you can see the whole casing of the motor is, is painted. It's not anodized. And the reason it's, it's painted is because apparently 7075 aluminum is just a lot harder to anodize. And, and uh, some manufacturers have figured out how to do it, but others have not. And it's more expensive, so they just decided to paint it instead, which more so makes me believe that it's uh, 7075 aluminum. So people really like to feel the notching of the motors and see and like compare it to others to see if it's more powerful. It's really hard to compare the notching of motors. You can't really tell power at all in that sense. But uh, in this case, motors that are very similar construction, similar magnets, similar everything, you kind of sort of somewhat can get a sense for if the motor will be powerful or not, kind of. And I'm, I'll tell you that the notching on this motor is equivalent or greater than any Brother Hobby motor I felt, except for the 1407. That one is a very, very special amount of notching. But every, it, the notching is right up there if you consider that a pop positive or negative option. The wires it comes with, it comes with 100 centimeter long, 100 millimeter long wires, and um, the motor weighs 34 grams with all the wire and everything, which is a very, very respectable weight. That is less weight than some other 2306 motors on the market, and the performance is right up there with all the best. The shaft is steel. It is not aluminum. I mean, it is not titanium, but it is hollow. It is hollow all the way through, and it has a screw bottom. Note that the motor does have directionality, it has a left and a right, and when you get the, the right hand, or whatever I got here, the screw is actually opposite on the bottom, so it won't unscrew itself. That's a pretty nice detail. And so let's take it apart, well actually, let's, before taking it apart, something that this motor has the best of compared to every other motor I've seen is really hard to show here on camera, but if you take a real close look at the magnets, if I can get it focused, the AOK Fly motor has the tightest air gap of any motor I have ever held and looked at closely. I was shocked when I saw that. It is consistently tighter than all the Brother Hobby motors I have, which have legendarily tight air gaps, and I think that's what's contributing to the cogginess and the pretty darn good performance of the motor. So now let's take it apart and take a look at the inside. If I can get it apart. Yeah. All right. So, can't really tell the laminations, but they look pretty darn thin, look pretty good. Uh, the windings look very similar to all the other high-end motor windings, similar kind of enamel, single-stranded windings. The bearings, cannot tell the bearings, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're trashy bearings because, I mean, there's no bearing that really holds up to anything. The most, the, the biggest downside to this motor is the shaft. So this is, I don't even know if it's hardened steel, 
but it is a three millimeter shaft. It is hollow, thankfully, so that it is gonna make it stronger, but it's a three millimeter shaft. So I, I don't know, there might be some concerns there, but then again, it's a $14 motor, so it's okay. The magnets are curved. You can see, obviously, if it's getting that tight of an air gap, the magnets are curved. And the inside of the bell, you can see again, is not painted. And uh, that also implies that it's 7075 aluminum. I think there's a number of things they could have done to improve this motor even further. Oh yeah, one other thing. The shaft is tall enough to fit a regular nut with washer or a tall nut that has a flange on it and the prop on. So that's very good. It does not have some knurling on the top of the bell to grip the, the prop very nicely, but um, it's a $14 motor. I think, again, there's a lot of things that they could have done to make the motor even better. And I hope to work with the company to make a version of this motor that is better, same price, just better, just all around, just better stuff. And to my shock and surprise, this motor has the same performance as a lot of very, very top tier motors, and it has a very similar construction as well. So I'm I'm just floored at the, this motor's existence and the way that they can sell it for such a low price. And that's something to be said about motors that are very expensive. What do you actually pay for with this expensive price. I mean, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 30 plus dollars for a motor, what are you actually getting? Aside from specialty motors like the, the Hyperlite 2204 or like super large motors like the F80 or something or the, 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 the Phonics 40, like what are you actually paying for in an expensive motor? I would argue that it's, it's hard to really decipher that. And what, to me, what I would pay for if I'm a really, really top pilot looking for really extreme performance is that so these two motors, this motor, the Hyperlite 2307, weighs three grams less than this AOK Fly motor. And honestly, I think that's the biggest benefit. It's, it's one millimeter taller too. So you're getting, I mean, if you ask me to tell the difference between these two motors and there, I don't know if I could actually tell the difference. It would be really hard to tell. So the performance is very similar. But this motor is just a little bit lighter, which it really does add up. Having a couple grams off your motor really does add up and help with the, the performance. But if you're just a general pilot and you're just flying just for fun and just for yourself, maybe racing on the weekends, like why are you why why bother spending so much money on motors? It hurts to like crash and break a $25, $30 motor. And I don't know, if you don't do this stuff a lot, I would be surprised if you could tell the difference if you if you're not if you're not comparing them directly to other motors. This motor is pretty darn good. I don't know if the quality control is gonna hold up. I'm sure it's gonna become a very popular motor. The eight that I have all have excellent quality control. They all are very even, very, very good. I mean, I couldn't find any discrepancies between any of them. The, the magnets do not scrape the stator at all, even with such an incredibly tight air gap. And it's a good, it's just, it's an overall good product. I haven't had it long enough to crash and test and see how it holds up to there, but it's a $14 motor. It's from Banggood, comes with free shipping. Hopefully it'll, it can be shipped worldwide. And if you're gonna ask me what's a good value motor, this is my selection by a far, far shot. I mean, I've tested a bunch of really cheap motors lately and I'm really aiming to, to find like the best cheap stuff. And uh, this is the best cheap motor I have found, so. For now, this is my best recommendation, and I will personally be using this on my own Acro Quads because it's a pretty darn good motor. It's gonna be one of my main main motors for builds. Great. Don't forget to floss. Bye-bye.